13.3 C, Absolute Value Inequalities, Isolate Absolute Value. Before setting up a compound inequality, we must first isolate the absolute value. But the thing to have caution about is that with absolute values, we cannot distribute or combine unlike terms. We'll see examples of this below. Here is example one. As you can see, the absolute value is not isolated. There are things with it. We must isolate it before we can actually evaluate whether this is a true less than or greater than statement and then be able to solve it. We'll begin isolating it just like we would in a normal equation by doing subtraction first. This gives us negative seven absolute value three x plus four absolute value less than negative 21. As you can see, I cannot distribute the negative seven through because you cannot distribute into an absolute value. Also, I could not combine the two with the negative seven in the first step because those are not like terms. Let's continue. We divide each by negative seven. This gives us absolute value of three x plus four. And then remember I just divided by negative, so we need to flip the sign. Is greater than three. We have now isolated the absolute value, so we can now determine whether this is an and or an or. Since it's greater or greater than, we call this an or statement. Let's start setting it up. We first write it just as it's shown as three x plus four is greater than three. Or we write it once again the same, but then we flip the sign to be less than negative three. So we have changed the sign or or the symbol and the sign on the number. Then we solve. Subtract four and we get three x is greater than negative one. Divide by three and we get x is greater than negative one third. Or we solve the second. And we get three x is less than negative seven. Divide each side by three we get x is less than negative seven thirds. Now we must graph this. We put the zero, negative one third, and negative seven thirds on the graph. Then we graph each piece. Greater than negative one third is an open circle going towards positive infinity. Less than negative seven thirds is an open circle going towards negative infinity. We place both of these on the graph because in an or statement we show all possibilities. And then we write our interval notation. We start with a parenthesis, negative infinity, comma, negative seven thirds, parenthesis, a horseshoe or U without a tail for the union, parenthesis, negative one third, comma, positive infinity. And this is our answer. Let's look at example two. Once again, the absolute value is not isolated. So we first must isolate this absolute value before we can continue. Let's start by adding or subtracting. So we subtract negative five from each side. This gives us two times the absolute value of four x minus one. It's less than or equal to twelve. 
Next, we divide by the two. This gives us four x minus one is less than or equal to six. As you can see, the absolute value is now isolated. So now we can finish solving. We see that it is a less than statement, so that means that it is an and inequality. We start by writing it just as it is shown without the absolute value symbols. We write the word and, and then we write it again, but flipping the symbol and changing the sign on the number. Then we solve each inequality. Add one to each side, and we get four x is less than or equal to seven. Divide each side by four, and we get x is less than or equal to seven fourths. And then we add one to each side, giving us four x is greater than or equal to negative five. Divide each side by four, and we get x is greater than or equal to negative five fourths. Now we need to graph these. Let's start by drawing each of the numbers on the line. Our first is x is less than or equal to seven-fourths, which means we have a closed dot at seven-fourths that goes less than or towards negative infinity. Our second one is at negative five-fourths. It is also an equal to, so it's a closed dot that goes towards positive infinity. Now we look for the portion that is overlapping since this is an and statement, and this is the portion that goes on the graph. This means that we fill in the dot on each one and the space in between. Now let's write our interval notation. Since they are both closed dots, we use brackets. So we have bracket negative five-fourths comma seven-fourths. This is our final answer. As you can see, if you have absolute values that have not been isolated, you must isolate them first before determining whether it is an and or an or inequality. Then you solve as usual.